is going on everybody? It's your boy Novdu316 back at it once again with some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and instead of actually playing the game and showing you guys my gameplay, we are actually going to be watching a set from the Smash World Tour which recently just concluded. I haven't seen every single match yet but one of the matches that I actually wanted to look at here with you guys today is Sonic's going up against Tweak. For starters, I am a Sonic main and I have made it my own decision to go ahead and just watch every single set that involves a Sonic player or just involves Sonic in general because it would definitely give me some good advice on some stuff that I could get better at doing or stuff that I should stop doing, stuff that I should be continuing, just stuff like that in general. So the fact that we're watching Sonics here in this video, that's already awesome. And then He's going up against Tweak. Tweak, in my opinion, is by far one of the top 10 players in Smash Bros. All time. Well, maybe not all time, but at least for Ultimate. You could probably debate at least top 5, maybe, for Tweak. So, Tweak is definitely a very, very good professional Smash Bros. player. So, we're going to be watching this set. Basically, I'm just going to... Keep the entire set playing. Like, this set's literally so long. Like, look at it. This is literally almost 30 minutes long. So, this is going to take a while to get through, guys. But, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the video playing. And we're just going to sit here and watch. And whenever there's a moment where there's something that I want to say about what I saw. Or something that I just thought of in the moment. I'll pause the video. And I'll talk about it. Because... I'm not going to show y'all, but just just believe me when I say this. The combination of me talking and a video playing on screen recorder does not sound good. So just believe me there. But with that being said, be sure to leave a like if you enjoy this video. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're so close to 200 subscribers and it would really just mean a lot to me if we can hit that milestone. And... With that being said, let's go ahead and start watching this set. Sonics versus Tweak. I have to respect when approaching. One thing that does work pretty well for Sonics is that if you push them off stage, you can challenge that recovery pretty well. You can use the spring to catch the up B, and you can also drop off stage and get those forward airs on Tweak if he decides to monkey flip in the wrong spot. So you can definitely challenge Tweak in one of his weaker points in the offstage play as well. And right... I honestly find this a little bit hilarious. It's been 20 seconds and neither person has hit the other one at all so far. If you actually have looked at some other sets that Tweak plays, I feel like Tweak is kind of like a... I'm not going to say pacifist type. That's, that's definitely the wrong word to use, but he plays passively. Like... He, he waits to, like, basically figure you out. He wants to see your movement and exactly what you're going to do. So he takes it slow. And something that I've seen that all of these professional Sonic players do, well, except for Raph so far, is that they all take it slow. They want to take their time, and they want to just figure you out. So maybe that's something that I should definitely start doing there is... Taking it slow, not really going for too many attacks, not too many hits, and just trying to see what my players, what the other opponent's going to do, basically. Now neither player wants him to swing first. We are playing it's been neutral, 20 baby. Seconds. <laughs> Twenty seconds, no one swing first. It's good neutral, baby. We just staring each other down. But the thing, like the thing with this matchup, right, is whoever decides to go in first is going to be facing a very difficult time because once that percent lead goes in your favor. It, I, you know, difficult. I'm going to stop analysis. These two have straight up not actually hit each other no, within 40 seconds. Not. It's, a, it's a new game. Um, we haven't seen this before. Uh, oh, oh, finally, we found a banana. Blood. All right, so 15% on board. There's like, like two people who are nervous, like try and go ahead and ask someone out the problem. Like, yeah. like no, you, no, no, you break first. You no, do, no, but, you do. But whoever asked first got to hear no. No, no, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. All right, 10% forward smash trying to get himself a hit. This is like a passive play at its finest. When it comes to we saw it, it's pretty similar earlier with Tarek versus Bruno, where Tarek decided to go for a lot more zoning with water shurikens to slow down the game because you knew that if you win in, you were going to end up losing the stock. Yeah. Right now, it's all about trying to find that one big lead so you can move forward. But.
and the first ad strikes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this time right now to say that these two are taking it slow, and that's for sure. <laughs> I feel like something that a um any Sonic player, honestly, that I've seen so far at Smash World Tour really looks for is that they usually go for um it's either side B or down B, but regardless, any sort of like spin attack, they go for it and they start it hoping that by the time they get to like the other side of the stage that you kind of like fall into it and every time that happens you basically get like a free 20 or so percent or from there you could just keep comboing but I feel like that's why Sonic players take it so slowly most of the time is because of the fact that they're looking for a particular hit they're looking for the particular time when a person's gonna like let their guard down like, some people literally just hold shield and wait for a Sonic player to do something. That's basically a way to bait a player. Sonic's a very baity character, so the goal with Sonic, I feel like, is looking for baits. So, if you can have a person, like, for example, this match has gone on for over a minute already, and both players have hit each other, like, two or three times so far. The thing is, is that I feel like what Sonics is looking for right now is that he is looking for a moment when Tweak lets his guard down. And I'm going to say it right now, that's going to be a very hard thing to get because Tweak, like I said, definitely top 10, maybe even top 5 Smash Ultimate player right now. So I, I, I really don't know. We're just going to have to find out, and let's just get through this ad, okay? Tweak is Here one who is not afraid to hang out with you at time two. He has said it time and time again. I will play to the clock, too. It does not matter. Tweak's doing it right. Honestly, this is like a new squid game, to be honest. Um, like, who can not hit the other? Who can not swing first? <laughs> All right, whoever like, does, loses. How to play anti-neutral here. Yeah. But only 4% separating these players right now. A total of 40% has been done, and it's been a minute and 45 into the set already. So playing a whole chess game right now, just trying to play out the clock, just figure out one move at a time to bait your opponent into an option that you can get a big whiff punish on. Does get a command grab there with the monkey flip. Now we're seeing 18% to 70. Gets him on the jump with the banana, and he's now got the ledge. Just what we said before, this is where he has to win, keeping Sonic stuck in the corner. Yeah, and I mean, Tweak being slightly more aggressive, but if you're Tweak, you're in a great spot right now. You know that if Sonic gets the lead, you are going to be running around chasing a Sonic potentially for so long. And even if you do, if you lose, and this for a timeout, that's so mentally draining. Exactly, and the thing with Sonic too is that you know that if you are forced to chase down Tweak, it's going to be kind of annoying to find those openers because you constantly open yourself up. But if you have that lead, it's okay to try and burst range up a bit because Diddy Kong doesn't have necessarily the best burst range tools outside of Monkey Flip, but if you're constantly playing at a range that activates side B, you're good. That is very fresh up smash, still not enough to get the KO logic. Yeah, but I don't think, I think maybe you can do one more up smash. Um, if a down tilt connect first, probably not so much. But Sonic's put on notice. And being down percent is one thing, being down a stock is a whole nother game. Exactly, because Tweak will take advantage of that time and time again. He does not get, he crossed him up a bit there, so he wasn't really able to capitalize, but down tilt, maybe even back here, it's pretty fresh, so right at the ledge might take a KO here. But using Banana to find him on his way, that's actually pretty scary. Sonic with Banana at this percent can even things back up really quick. Yeah, but I mean, uh, got to get the Banana back again. Not the easiest task, I like what Sonic did right there. Tried to land on the Banana with the forward air to pick it up. Unfortunately, misses. Oh, not able to get it, but the next one, Border, gonna be enough. And you're. So, Tweak is gonna go ahead and take the first stock here. And something that I forgot to mention from the last time that I talked, I kept talking about how much Sonic players want to get baits on other people. Diddy Kong in a way is kind of the same, I feel like. I've, or at least Tweak, to be honest, is a person that looks for baits. And I feel like that's the reason why eventually. He was like, okay, Sonics is just going to keep doing the same few things and we're just going to keep not hitting each other. And he took the initiative to change up exactly what was going on. And I feel like that's why at one point Tweak was able to get Sonics from like 20 to um, 70% and basically just take over that spot of the match. Another thing that I've seen 
so far through this first match so far already is there is a lot of banana play. I feel like this happens with any projectile character, especially Diddy Kong, that these professional players are going to just play with the projectile and all the matches are going to be dependent on that. And in this case, Sonics is really taking good use of Diddy Kong's banana. So that, that's what I feel like is going on right now is basically the banana is being used by both players, like Sonics is taking it from Tweak, and the goal is just for one of them to find an opening, and that's why this match is kind of working like this. Once one of these two players hit the other, I feel like they're going to get at least two more, or three more maybe hits. Out down a stock. Exactly. This is so huge. Now you have to use that speed. You have to use that range to get in and try and catch maybe a forwarder off stage to catch Tweak because he's going to fight in center stage. He knows that there's no reason for him to go ahead and move towards ledge because that means you get a free ledge trap on him and a free edge guard. Your win condition must be to outplay me right now, particularly trying to use that banana, but he does not get it. Yeah, and just still so much back and forth as these two are just jockeying for an opening, if you will. No one wanting to fully commit. But I mean, if you're Sonic, you have to commit. It's no longer a waiting game. You have three minutes left on the clock. You're down a stop. You're not allowed to continue this play unless you're just, what, hoping Tweak changes mind? Exactly. Like, Tweak, what Tweak is telling you right now is I will play to your win condition, but I will do it better. Then yeah. I'm going to make you change your game plan because if you don't, I will hide from you just the same. So you better learn how to open me up and find ways to get in. Otherwise, I'm going to hide from you just the same. As we see him doing a great job, and Tweak finally finds an opening. Take your videos offline and watch. And we have been hit with another ad, ladies and gentlemen. So something that I'm realizing, I feel like Tweak is doing this, and he would do it to anyone, to be honest. He takes the first stock. You know, he's got a one-stock lead. So as Diddy Kong, a character that can go for bait and plays the bait game, I feel like he is just completely focused on that. He's like, I don't have to go and hit you, you know? Sonic's a timeout type of character. You see more time timeouts typically with Sonic than most other characters in Super Smash Bros. So, Tweak's basically like, I've got the lead on you. You need to start playing more aggressive and come to me. I'm just going to sit here with my banana and I'm going to wait for an opening. And we didn't really see Sonic's give Tweak much of an opening there. And I feel like pretty soon we're going to need to see Sonic starting to go in more aggressively if we're going to see him end up coming back and winning this game. Uninterrupted. Try YouTube Premium on us. I think I'm going to make it my goal. I'm going to stop on every There's ad. There's an America we every build ad and one we explore. To just talk but about freedom whatever. means you don't have to change. You see him doing a great job, and Tweak finally finds an opening there with a banana. Not much out of it, though. Yeah, that's a very Tweak mindset, by the way. This is coming from the same player who said, you know, I think within three days I can be the best player of any character. So, that yeah, is very true. I think I can uh, probably play your defensive game better than you, and I'm going to show you right now. I must say, though, I don't know if this has ever happened. Somebody, somebody tell me on Twitter later, have we ever seen a timeout? where we didn't see it on last stock in an official bracket match? Because this looks like it could be one of those timeouts where it might actually be two Black stocks still left on board, or maybe even three stocks for Tweak, because Sonic's... So this is something that at first I thought was, like, my issue, like, either Wi-Fi or just some sort of issue with my phone. But I think it's just something with Smash World Tour's stream. It always seems to, like, lag at random points. I don't know why, but... That's just something that I've realized with every set so far that I've watched. Because, like, I'll go and I'll watch another YouTube video, like, something random, nothing to do with Smash Bros., nothing to do with Smash Bros. Tour, or anything like that. And it'll work completely fine. Like, there will be no lag whatsoever, no issues. But, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Because there's going to be other points like that. At least a couple more points where it's going to lag like that. I just want to clarify that is not my fault. Can't get a hit. That's actually a little ironic. That is interesting. You would love to see that. I, I don't think we've ever actually seen that before, which is 
potentially not going to happen right now because Sonic just needs to get maybe a forward smash at ledge or try to get forward air. Oh, wait. All right, he is able to make that back. So with 45%, that's the, all he needs is one sock, and this is a doable match for Sonics. Yeah, but, I mean, getting that sock, so, so difficult. What's the edge guard attempt? How did you get a attack not going to work? Tweak still staying alive at 145, tacking on that damage too whenever Sonic lets his guard down. Yeah, one thing that Charles said very well earlier was the person with the lead in these situations actually kind of gets a bit more stressed out because you can't make a mistake. Like, the other person is looking, and they're going to start getting more aggressive. But once they catch you with that mistake, you're going to get stressed out because now with this 1 minute 20 seconds left on the clock, if you get the stock, 71% is not that undoable for Sonic to be able to get back in. Does keep him at ledge, though. There's no reason to go even for a ledge trap. Stay in center stage. Keep him stuck over there. Just zone him out like he's doing now because as soon as you get to this one-minute mark, 102 is a much bigger... Okay, so Sonic's has finally taken the first stock off of Tweak. Something that I feel like um, Sonic should be going for more, I feel like he should be going for more baits with because like he'll always like any sonic player like i already mentioned would do some sort of like spin attack like just go through the same motion i feel like the sonic players go through the same motion i feel like to be honest and i feel like he should stop every once in a while like don't do it often obviously but like i have not seen this man grab but like i think once and maybe not even then did he even try and go for a grab. But this is just the issue. You're playing a timeout character. You're a stock down. And you're just going to keep playing slowly and slowly. If you look at this match right now, there is literally a minute left. Alright, one minute left. Tweak is 102% higher. The likelihood... Of Sonic's winning this match is just close to none. And I'll make a prediction right now. I think Tweak takes game one. Because let's just be real. What Sonic player is going to get more than 102%? Not get hit at all. In a minute. Just a minute of time. I, 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 I just don't see it. Maybe Raph. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now. I personally, out of all the Sonic players that I watch, I like Raph the most because I feel like he kind of goes for some of the crazy stuff that I like going for. I like going for all the crazy, like, spring kills, stuff like that. And I feel like just his play style matches mine the most, to be honest. So I really like watching him more than any other Sonic player. But obviously I'm not saying that the, like, disrespect Sonics or Ken or Pelly, any of the Sonic players that were here at Smash World Tour. I'm just saying that because that's like my play style. So I'm particularly wanting to assess a match, but uh, or not a match, a set between Sonics and literally anyone else, because I feel like it would be good to get some ideas from him in particular. But he finally took that stock off of Tweak. An issue with Sonic is definitely killing. Sonic's a more lightweight character, and there's only a couple of options you've even got for killing, and that's even at, like, 120%. Like, you you saw it there. Tweak got to over 160%. You can't let a Diddy Kong do that. So, even then, I still feel like Sonic's could have gotten a kill quicker, but... You know, this is the first game. I'm not shocked that of all the matches, this one's going to most likely go to a timeout because the two players are obviously figuring each other out. Anyone would do that regardless. But when you've got two characters like this that naturally play that way every match, I feel like it's definitely going to go to a timeout. But with that being said, let's watch this final minute. Mountain to climb here for Sonics. Yeah, I'm now 113. Great forward air coming out of shield right there by Tweak. Yes, Sonic has the banana, but I don't think Tweak has any intention on fighting anyway. Yeah, there's no reason to. You Now you hide. But this is where things can get rough because Sonic's now understands you need to hide from him in disadvantage. He tries to go up. He tries to get a combo starter with these down tilts. He's actually taking more damage. If he gets caught by a forward smash at ledge, Sonic's might just end up getting...
smash that ledge, Sonics might just end up getting a kill. That would be quite the story, to be fair. Um, it'd be really fun to watch. I mean, starting to add on that damage, but you have 30 seconds to close steps that are getting a stock. going to be really oh. difficult. Oh, oh it. he just took... That's why you have to be so much more afraid in these situations because now he gets to hide from you. You played on defense for so long, and then he gets to kill. Now... That was amazing. Oh, my God. Bro... So Sonics starts actually rushing, actually starts playing more aggressively, and is able to find a bunch of openings on Tweak, is able to start getting some combos going, and then the kill at 80, well, well, he did what I like to do all the time with, like, up air, and then spring up air again, that literally, once that second up air hit, got Tweak to 84%, and that was enough to kill. Literally just at 84. So, I'm very happy that Sonics went for something so aggressive and just crazy. Because I've never seen him do that before. I I've watched a few Sonic sets before. I have never seen him do that before. And to do it against Tweak in a situation like this, it definitely came in very clutch. The question is, will Tweak be able to get a stock off of Sonic's because Sonic, you know, fastest character in Smash Bros. can easily run away. Can easily run away. So, will Sonic's be able to get away and keep this stock? Or is Tweak going to be able to kill him and possibly get him beyond 9%? Well, what a better way than just hitting play and finding out. Tweak has 17 seconds to get a kill and lap him in percent, and there's literally no way oh, to do it. it. Almost got the angel drop right there. Oh! Not There's not enough. Eight yet. seconds yeah. left on the clock. There's pretty much no reason. Oh, he gets it down there. But he but has he, angel platform invincibility. Does he have long enough? <laughs> yeah, he just has to up the into the skies. Oh, that yeah. is tough. And that. Oh, what my God. That is tough. Tweak. Respect, man. The banana into Spike. That was awesome. That, that was a very awesome kill right there by Tweak. But it was too late. Once you get the five seconds in one of those situations, if the other person has the lead, you already know they're just going to sit up there almost like in a protective bubble and they are not going to let the other player touch them. And that's exactly what Sonics did there. And I'm shocked. I did not expect them to take that game one. But that was just amazing. I'm going to try and fast forward some and basically just... Get straight to the um game. If I skip a little more, all right, it looks like it's gonna start right here, but let's get into this game, too, dude. Let's get into this game, too. That plans uh, pans out for the remainder of this because Tweak understood that I need to camp you, but what the, Sonics can get out of this, though, is we're Sonics going back to games, the same stage. He can spend the whole game just all right, so. If you are not into Smash Bros. tournaments the way that I am, if you did not already know, Pokemon Stadium 2 is the most, like, 50-50 type of stage. It's, like, it's honestly the stage, but I feel like anybody would, like, two professionals just playing each other, they would be like, hey, you want to go to Pokemon Stadium 2? Sure. And that's how the, almost all of these sets in Smash Bros. Tour are going to start off, is like that. And... I don't know how exactly, like, if it's loser's pick, winner pick, or anything like that for the next stage, but I'm assuming right here Tweak was just like, run it back, run it back, because he had most of that match. So, I would not be shocked if he was like, run it back, let's do this again, because he honestly, right now, is thinking, I can get this win. I can win the next match. I, I just let my guard down a little bit at the end. I can win next time. So let's see what happens. Crashing down Tweak and changing his, uh, changing the tempo so he's not prepared for that later on in the set. Yeah. Definitely an option. I wonder if Tweak's <laughs> going to try to be more aggressive instead of, you know, trying to go for the timeout victory. Going to say, hey, I don't want to leave it up to fade. I just want to get rid of your stocks instead. I feel I'm a better player and I'll be able to do that consistently. 
Yeah, but I think a part of that in this game number two here is he's going to be able to, like, you're, you're going to have a little bit of time adjusting to uh, Tweak starting to actually aggressively approach you. And you need to make sure you don't lose your cool in those spots if you're Sonics because once Tweak starts getting those openings, it'd be big. But similar to the last game, 30% each on, uh, like, here in the early stock. It took forever for the first hit to happen last time, like but not seconds. so much damage. Yeah, it was like solid 40, 45 seconds before our first hit came in. It was from a banana toss. Good trade right there that Tweak is definitely willing to take. Yeah, every trade is your, in your favor here for Tweak because that just works him so much closer to kill percents. Because you want him around that 110 range so you can get down to up smash, but it's kind of hard to get that when he stays away from you and he goes for side B because there's always hitbox check. This could be a good ledge check, but no, he disrespects him on, on roll. And he... Actually, I think he buffered the uh, the, the back throw because he turned around yeah. immediately. I think he wanted to get back throw right away. Are you going to jump forward here? Yep, tries to go for it, but that's a re-grab, but Sonic still felt relatively safe to go for it. This is big. There's an air dodge. The Nair is sending the wrong way. Yeah, that was so huge that he got that Nair to send in towards the stage. That forward smash would have blown off that stock now. 110 to 113. We haven't seen him go for an attempt on that side B with the kick to be able to try and get the tech, but Sonic has been pretty good at recognizing when Tweak tried to push. And to just took that one and you just died. All right, so once again, Tweak is going to go ahead and take the first stock here. All right. Something that I am realizing, which I kind of predicted. This match is going at a more faster pace now. Now that Tweak and Sonics have played a match against each other and kind of know what, how things are going to go, they're both starting to play a little more aggressively. And with that said, I feel like Tweak has ultimately been doing better in this match so far with the banana. I feel like Sonics hasn't been able to grab it as much as he did in the last game A. Not saying that he didn't grab it at all or anything like that. Sonics did grab it a couple of times on that first stock. But I feel like Tweak is hitting Sonics with more bananas, which is obviously making Sonics slip, resulting in easier combo opportunities, easier hits, easier kill confirms, stuff like that. So if Tweak keeps it up at this pace, it looks like he could take game two. But when, when I said there was like no way Sonics could win last game, there's still a chance right now, so I'm not about to make a prediction. Okay, never mind. But uh, this has been way more... Oh! Wow! Whoa! We are out there! That entire situation was crazy. Alright, so Tweak is using up B, right, for rocket barrels. And Sonics goes down under the stage and hits him, alright? Tweak text, respect. Tweak text that. But the issue comes with the rocket barrels. If you get hit midway using Diddy Kong's up B, I know this from experience, I die a lot to this. Basically what's going to happen is for a little bit of time, like a second or two, you're not going to be able to use the up B again. And Diddy Kong's just going to slowly fall down. And by the, like say this entire face cam's the blast zone, like, oh no, I've been hit. By the time you start using the up B and you've got to get enough juice in order to go all the way up, you're still going to be slowly falling down. And that's why Tweak wasn't able to make it out of that. That's why Sonics was able to take the stock. So, definitely a very wise idea for Sonics to go down there. I don't know if he knew that even if Tweak didn't tech, that he wouldn't be able to make it back. But if he did, definitely a very strong read by him. And definitely a very amazing, well for me, because yeah, you already know, <laughs> definitely a very awesome decision to make by him. Way more action this game than the other. That was the most explosive thing to happen all set, quite literally, no pun intended. That was that was actually ridiculously fast on how Sonic was able to actually yeah. close out and even up the game. And we're down to two stocks. At the five they went from chess to checkers really, really fast. Okay. I'm here for it. Look, man, I want Showtime oh. to follow. I want hands, like, I want... Superpowers from a spider bite. I All right, we got another ad once again. All right, I've just got to say right now that combo that I just saw from Sonics that was amazing. Okay, that was amazing. You can't say that it wasn't amazing. Like, I'll be honest with you all time, I've had only a few times where I've hit a combo as good as that. So, to basically be able to do it at such a big stage like Smash World Tour and against someone like Tweet. Just that easily? Yeah. That was definitely awesome.
Give you some help showing the world how Liberty Mutual customizes their car insurance. I want... Look, this, this needs to be like Rocky Seven. Like, start, start, start fighting. <laughs> are you witnessing this? They are fighting. They are scrapping Sonic though. Is that the one winning. Worked. This is a big reason why Sweet has been hiding from Sonic, because he understands the burst range of Sonic is so much better than what Sweet could set up, because he doesn't get the ability to get him. Almost getting on a DI mix up off the top, holding in because he assumed the forward air would happen there. Very, very safe move when it is space. Difficult to punish Sonic F Smash. Probably gonna go for a back throw. Yep. What's the edge guard setup? You have spring, you have forward air, a lot of options, and Sonic actually just gets on stage and takes a little bit of I think Sonic well. wanted to drop off and do a side B across the stage. What an answer on a two frame. If that was me, I would set my controller down, walk off the stage. <laughs> okay, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> you, if you're Sonics, you cannot at least be slightly pissed. You have to. Like, just be like, I died to Diddy Kong up B. Like, that just never feels good. It doesn't matter. It legitimately doesn't matter. Like, you, like, he got slipped up and then Twink was just like, woohoo! <laughs> but, let's just continue. Let's see if Sonix is able to take this stock. You know, Twink's already at 157. And respect, I, I saw Sonix actually go for a grab and get it now. And get some crucial damage that way. I have also seen him go for different kill options that I did not see in game one. So I feel like both of both Sonics and Tweak, I feel like they're both more confident right now. And they've both got momentum swinging their way. So it's going to be very interesting to see who takes game two. The barrel technician coming through, just up being at the ledge. I cannot believe that worked. That was so smart from Tweak. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Clearly, Sonic wasn't either. Tweak, time to come alive. You're at 160, still want to be relatively safe, but okay. wasn't that safe, apparently. Yeah, catching him on the there jump, realizing, the okay, here, you're pressing a lot here. of buttons. What if I just call out this jump real quick? Three minutes, 47 seconds now with one stock left, so that means we're most likely not going to reach that timeout. Here we go, getting him on the dash attack. Waits for the landing. That's a very big whip punish there because Tweak always optimizes the combos. Yeah, as we witness right there, and 44% quite the lead for Tweak. Um, nothing like the lead you had last game, but last game you're going for a timeout, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, he intentionally just held back, just waiting, holding block, not letting him get in. But these side B cross-ups into homing attack, he's starting to slowly work his way back into this damage. The kill power does favor uh, Sonics in terms of edge guards in forward smash. We've mentioned that quite a few times now with that back here too, but Tweak, does he play similar to how Sonic did last time where you have a small lead now? But I'm going to be the one to get you stressed and close it out. It's really, really hard to say in this position. I mean, if you're Tweak, you kind of need an answer, though. You got to... Waiting clearly isn't it. And Sonic will take that banana, and clearly the spin dash and homing attack will come through. He would crack on so much damage as we're witnessing right now. Oh, this is huge. Gets him stuck on ledge. Decides to just... He, he just kind of hovers around ledge trap. Doesn't really look like he had anything planned. So Tweak does get back on. But now you potentially go for the up B. Yes, but he does not connect on the up B coming in from Diddy Kong. Oh, this is getting so tense right now. Tweak narrowing that, that gap that Sonic's had. That lead is going away. And remember, this is for elimination. Like, whoever goes down here, that's it. You lose out on the championship bracket. So these like these games matter so much because the mental stamina that is going to require what is most likely going to be a game five is going to be enormous. Forward throw on a DI mix, throwing him deep off stage. Do you get the ledge trap? Yes, you do. Catching him, fading away, not trying to get hit by the banana, and he read it with that back here. My goodness, that was pretty entertaining. So... At the start, Tweak actually got a crazy 0-50% to 50 combo, and I was like, oh, wow, that's some good momentum going into that final stock. Um, there was 1.2 where Sonic's literally was doing, like, spin dash, hits Tweak, and Tweak thinks he's fine. But Sonic's is just like, nope, spin dash again. <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious, but Tweak ultimately at the end was able to get that dub, um... I guess the only thing I would comment on for that is, I don't even know. Good job, Tweak. But, those are just like the two things that I really saw, like for that final stock in particular. I, I guess, like, if I had to tell Sonics like one thing to work on from there, maybe, just maybe like,
To be honest, I feel like Sonic's actually, every time Tweak would throw um, the banana, I feel like he would go for it, like, immediately. So, at that point, Tweak honestly was just looking for bait with the, the banana, but not in a way you'd expect. Like, you'd expect that you would want to bait someone into going somewhere where you can hit them with banana. Instead, you're expecting them to go and try and grab banana and try and punish them grabbing the banana. I don't know, that just seems like what it looks like, and that's kind of weird, but... Let's just go on to this game for since I'm running out of things to say. Yeah, that was a beautiful... It's good point. The way that this... Wow, I'm a whole liar. We're gonna... Alright, here we go, here city. we go. Very interesting option. Um, Plenty of platforms, but only temporarily. Yeah. These, do, these platforms do benefit Sonic incredibly, though, because those... Alright, so I'm gonna say this right now. Um, Smashville is definitely a very interesting stage when it comes to, um, Sonic. I don't think Sonic actually has that good of an advantage. I feel like he's more at a disadvantage on this stage. Because the stage for starters is smaller. Like, if a stage was typically this size, this stage is, like, this size. So, Sonic... Sonic doesn't have as much space to basically do spin dash around. But at the same time, I feel like the two platforms, something that does help Sonic, I feel like the two, like, upper platforms, like, you got the stage, and then you got the platform in the middle here, and then these two that are up high like that, I feel like those two platforms are actually in a better spot for, um, Sonic, because I feel like if you were to start doing, like, let's say again, this is your stage, say you're over here on the right, and you're doing spin dash, I feel like it's easier to do your combo, like, up like that. And if you don't get them, like, with the initial, like, going from here to he here to here, like, I feel like if the player's standing on the platform, I feel like it's gonna be easier to hit them, basically. But, we'll basically see how these two players go ahead and get around with this stage and this match. But, I'll tell you right now, from my experience, which is basically none, I've been to one tournament, it literally went 0-2. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but, uh, when everyone would ask me, okay, what two stages are you banning? I'm like, this one, this one, no, we're not going to Smashville. Chaps you had before? Not as free now, because he's going to up B up to those top platforms and air dodge down to avoid the banana mix-ups. But also, he's got really good kill power now because he gets to confirm into the side B that now turns into the uh, B reverse homing attack into a back air. That kills yeah. so early here. Um, this, by the way, is really similar to how game number one went. Thir Muller's follows a simple recipe for simply better pasta. It starts with high-quality Durham wheat, and it ends. 30 seconds, finally a hit you has happened. Stupid we ass. lost the game that started this way. That's a little concerning. If you're tweak, it's almost like, do you want to play that game again? Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like Russian Roulette. You played it once before. It came up red when you bet black. Yeah. What's going to change this time? One thing, at least for Tweak, is advantage him when the layout's similar to this. When he has no side platforms and he has... This one's not as bad. It gives uh, Sonic's better route recovery. But now he gets to pressure him because he has banana mix-ups. That was... I don't know what he was looking for. But he ended up not going for anything at the, after that, uh, at the end of that. But let's see what Tweak's data he got on how Sonic's side to behave there. Yeah. I was wondering if there was going to be a, an attempt at a down air. It would have been remarkable. I don't know if it would have killed because Sonic is so low. But boy, would that have been a statement. It's a very strong spike, so possible you never know i mean if, if he's near to blast on that up he will get him back well 32 percent to 104 sonic's doing a good job of holding this lead but now you have the fd layout once again immediately calling that that jump though he's been really he's, he's been getting a lot of those points uh getting a lot of backers yeah he's been really really clutch right there finding those banana not coming into play nearly as much as i thought it would in this matchup other than the fact that sonic takes it from time to time and yeah. Two weeks struggle to get it He's back. been really evasive with it. The banana is basically only for lead trap and air to air is funny enough. He's using that as a, like a check that jumps out of Sonic's quite a bit. Uh, but for Sonic, like you said, he, he's constantly hunting down that banana so he can get himself a trip F smash at the same time. And a trip uh, trip dash cancel F so is also really strong. Enough. And just not have to deal with it being an option because it will stop the spin dash. Yeah, just like anything to get Sonic to pump the brakes. There's those air dodge downs we were talking about before, though. The high recoveries, it gets you away from Diddy Kong's ledge traps. And Tweak's got to be careful when he tries to go for, like, that big risky play. Because you can catch him slipping with that move exactly right there, though. The command grab on the platform will kill. 
Yeah, I mean, you got a little bit of damage before you have to worry about dying, but it's always a threat. You're off stage. This is scary. Banana set up there. Tweak throwing the banana the wrong way. I think that was a missed input. Yeah, decided he does get it back. He doesn't go for forward throw a second ago yeah. either. I think it's to try and keep it fresh. He doesn't want to steal it. I, I mean, granted, you did go for back throw, so that will mess it up a bit. But back, nice. actually, forward throw. Okay, oh, so yeah. Um, he still makes that back. No what forward do you do smash. To get up? I'm also very surprised about forward smash. But dash attack of all things. It was at 183 after the hit, but even with that good di up to. So Sonics is finally gonna go ahead and take the first stock of this game. So something that so here are a few figs that I took from that uh first stock. When did Tweak get from zero to fifty two? Because I genuinely was just focused, but not focused on the percent. And I just randomly saw Sonics at zero and Tweak at fifty two, and I was like. Another thing too. Matt, I realized is that I'm starting to be able to predict when Sonics is going to actually commit to the spin dash. Like, whether he's going this way or that way or whatever he's doing. I'm starting to predict when exactly he's going to do spin dash. Like, I'll liter I've literally been saying in my mind, like, now. And when I say now, that's what I'm predicting, like, when Sonics is actually going to use it. And most of the time when I'm able to do that... He's not hitting Tweak. So, ultimately, it's weird to say, like, change it up. Like, I don't know how exactly it could say change it up to that, but, like, I, I don't really know with that. Um, for Tweak, honestly, what I am realizing, like, right now, at least with this game, is I feel like he's definitely letting Sonics grab the banana more and have more control of the banana. Banana, obviously, one of Diddy Kong's gimmicks. The second you take away banana from Diddy Kong, that makes Diddy Kong less of Diddy Kong. So, the fact that Tweak is almost letting up the banana more than he did in the last game, that's starting to make me think of game one again. It's starting to make me think that Sonics is going to be able to take this win because... It almost, in that aspect, feels like a repeat of game one. But, another thing for Tweak 2, he needs to change up his recovery more. Because Sonics was literally able to read for recovery, throw Banana down, and hit Tweak. Like, I say that now, and then I realize that at the end there, Tweak did actually change it up in side bead back to stage. But still, even then, I feel like both of these players are starting to expose each other more in this match. It's not even as much of a confidence thing as it was in Game 2. I feel like now, it's more of a both of them are starting to like really just read the opponent. So, going back to Game 1, remember Sonics was able to take that second stock from Tweak. Because of that crazy um, spring combo. But that was random. You don't do that often. You don't see a Sonic player going and doing that every two seconds. Unless it's me, but that's only for at like 80% or higher. Um, or if it's Jigglypuff at like 60. <laughs> but anyways... I just feel like it's easier to, like, read the opponent right now in this game, so. I feel like for sure whoever wins this game definitely takes the set. Top quarter, not enough. We've seen revenge chaos happen instantly, though, from, like, each one of them. Um, like, physically with that last game, so I think this 145 might disappear very quick if we get the last stock. I mean, I oh, it was. never mind! Is that enough? We don't okay. make it back. The damage was done, but, boy, that was terrifying. Yeah, that was, that was almost the game going in Sonic's favor. Now he's getting reverse ledge tap. Not in a position to really do anything about that air dodge down, though. Yeah, an 82% put on to Tweak. Yes, you both have two stops. This one could possibly come to time. I'm not even going to lie. That double K, that almost double KO made me forget that they had two stocks apiece. <laughs> and now 11% and a... Could be. This is the first day of the rest of your life. What a freaking read. Okay, so 
Sonic's definitely seems to be doing better right now. He would he actually hit a pretty decent combo at the start, and from there, him and Tweak went back and forth a little bit. But I feel like ultimately Sonic's was able to take that stock because he started hitting more reads and started doing stuff honestly better. He was playing more consistently, more efficiently, I guess. Um, the way that Sonic's killed, Sonic players aren't able to kill like that often. And although Sonic is fast, it's kind of hard to actually kill. Like, you can get combos fast, but it's actually a very slow process to get kills sometimes. So, to see Sonic's be able to get the kill on Tweak that quickly is definitely a plus for sure. But we're just going to have to ultimately see how Sonic's plays this out. I'm, I'm going to be looking at this in particular because this is the biggest lead that I think Sonic's has had in all three of the games so far. So I really want to see how exactly his play style is. Does he go back to that like timeout situation? Or is he going to still play a little aggressively like he has been lately? But if you want it, you got to fight for it. And a whole haymaker, that hypno smash, catching him with the forward smash there on the landing. This is a massive lead now for Sonic. However, we said it before, whoever had the lead at the end actually ends up losing. So he's got to keep his composure here. This is it's a, a much larger lead. lead, yeah. But there's three minutes on the clock, so there's a lot of room for uh, Tweak to get an opener. He just needs to be careful with how much he approaches, because we've seen quite a few times he's been beaten on landings between the dash deck and the side beat. Yeah, that is definitely true. Sonic slowing down the pace a bit, not wanting to make any commitments, going over that banana. There's some intangibility, if I'm not mistaken, on one of the versions, four projectiles, or something of that nature. Just, I mean, Sonic's literally running away with it right now. I mean, this is the this is the win condition. If you decide to go and constantly challenge Tweak up close, you're going to lose your stock. So you need to get uh, Tweak to go for these jumps and get these whip punishes. Every trade works in your favor because at 110, now you get him on a KO. Almost got him there with the forward smash. Late hit Nair does confirm in the backer, but he was a little bit out of position to get it. It was a little bit too low to the ground. Now Tweak, Tweak is fighting for his life. He's got no other options to really kind of hang back because that two-minute timer is looking, it's looming over him pretty large right now. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine potentially Tweak losing? This would be such a low placement for him. Something I don't know if we've seen almost ever. It's not often at all, but with Tweak, if he goes down two games to one here, that's all beneficial for Sonic. Once again, using these wavelengths on the platform and with this layout, he can just keep bouncing around because you have to beat me in the air. Every hit you get is going to be one that's not going to get you enough to lead to big damage. He does, however, finally find a fair. He goes a little bit too low, though, because he tried to push advantage here, maybe try to get a gimp, not, and nothing's going to come out of it. Yeah. Other side and just Tweak struggling. Catch. Game of cat and mouse is just really not working out for Tweak at the moment. Yeah, and once again for Sonic, there's no reason to do anything. He just gave that one up. It's like, you know what? I realize with one minute and 30 seconds left on the clock and you this far ahead, this is only going to mentally tax me even more. So. Alrighty, so with that stock, um, I feel like Sonic's definitely started off very aggressively like he still was um he definitely did it towed it down until tweak got to like 80 percent or so and i feel like sonics was just beating tweak to the punch like sonics would be able to see okay tweak's going for this second he does that let me just punish him so sonics was choosing the right times to punish and then another thing too sonics was literally at 40 percent was he even recovering like towards the stage was trying to go completely over the stage but tweak was still gonna go for a spike and what i've got to say to that is i feel like at that point tweak almost being dead on his final stock of his sonic still having that stock that he has some decent room to work with still along with a complete other stock i feel like tweak was desperately looking for a kill there a fast kill to get him back in the game and he just did not get it i feel like tweak would start going for like desperate attacks that would get sonic's off stage and 
Sonix just wasn't having it. Sonix would just stay in the middle when that would happen, and it definitely didn't make Tweak look very good. It, in my opinion, it's definitely, I feel like, common. I feel like Tweak, personally, like, I feel like we've all heard already, like, I think Tweak actually gets more anxious than most professionals do at Smash Bros. He gets more anxious than most of the other players would. So, the moment he gets like that, I feel like he starts going for stuff like that. So, maybe he was feeling anxious in that game. Maybe that's why he started playing like that. But, Sonics is ultimately going to take this game. And, I'm very excited to see what happens next. Just I believe that score game. is 2-1 to one right now. Like, you know what? But, you got it. You with got how it right long now. this video's been going, oh, it seems so like it should be like 2-2 two 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 or something. Yeah, and people who was... Uh, you, you know how a lot of times people get losses so they go immediately to Twitter and they start ranting a bit? Well, for Sonic, oh my god, you decided to counter kick the Yoshis against Sonic. So Sonic was one of the people who was complaining he didn't feel good enough uh, and he was kind of underperforming. I will say this though, this is one of Sonic's, if not Sonic's, best stage. This could end up coming back to fight Tweet. Yeah, I'm guessing the logic for Tweet here is, you know, I just really want a stage where people are going to explode. Because I'm confident I'll be able to hit you, I just need to kill you early enough. Yeah, and like, that is a big, I think that's the big reason here. You're trying to go for those early KOs, try and catch, uh, if you overshoot that that side, you're going to be able to get those F tilts at ledge from Diddy Kong, so you can catch him on two frames a little easier. But the thing is, with Sonics, he gets to use that side B and slowly move his way down into the yeah. slant. We saw that years ago back with the Picto Chat version of Brawl Sonic, going a whole time leap on that. And you can get a kill early off the top here with Sonic too because of those platforms. So Tweak has to have some good reason for being here, and he needs to pull it out ASAP. Well, another thing is the recovery is a little bit better here for Tweak. You know, Diddy does have a wall cling, does have a wall jump. Very good point. Can side B kind of low and then change the timing of the up B. A lot of options right there for Diddy. I think that I, I think that the, the band's definitely involved Kalos in those uh, options there to prevent Diddy Kong from having that option of the wall, but also the survivability and yeah. the FD layout. So this is his next best thing he gets. However, down to the bear. We drop it down. No real aggressive option. Maintain stage control. Unfortunately, that still was not enough. And Sonic found his way up. And the Haymaker yet again. I need somebody. All right, so... That combo that I saw from Sonics was definitely very amazing. That did put him in the lead here at the start. And he was able to keep it at least for now long enough to get that um, first stock taken from Tweak. And I've just got to say right now, it looks like Sonics really does have more momentum than Tweak does. Like, Tweak just really didn't get much um, crazy combos until just there at the end. Like... I did see Tweak actually edge guard Sonics a little bit and actually look good there just before he ended up dying, but it seems like Tweak is starting to figure things out, and I feel like he's playing a little less anxious, but he could go back into playing anxiously because he did just get the first stock of the game taken away, and he is down 2-1, so it'll be interesting to see. How exactly he plays, will he play differently than he is right now, or just what exactly is going to happen? And will Sonic stay aggressive, or is he going to go back to playing the timeout game? To let us know, what is the hit rate on that? Sonic is throwing it out, and Tweak's face is always meeting it. And he had such a good read on that roll, too, recognizing that. He, I mean, Tweak does roll in quite a bit on some situations, because you'll see that from Diddy Kong's often, but not going to fall for the Z-drop at the ledge. Now Sonic, even though he doesn't have a lot of room to cover, he does, however, get hit by that down tilt to up smash. Only 8% here for Tweak. I'm not going to take long. I just wanted to quickly say that's an easy kill confirm that Tweak got there, to be honest. Um... Very good that he was able to find it. Um, going back to how Sonics actually did get Tweak, it was pretty fast. And it was also on a read. Like, he stood still and turned around and then just got that big fist of his whip. So, definitely a very good read. And looking at the time and how these matches have gone, I think this is the final game. So, it's looking like Sonics does win this set. That's the only thing I hate. I feel like they should have a mode where you can't see how long a video is. Although, 
I feel like viewers do look for the duration of a video and be determined based off of that, whether or not to click on it. I still feel like with stuff like these Smash Bros. tournaments, they should definitely have a way to turn off the um, time because it doesn't help, you know. It definitely doesn't help. Or they should just have like a thing where they make a vid all the videos a certain amount of time and they put like a this is only to not spoil the actual outcome type of thing because you can look at this and clearly tell, yeah, Sonic's is going to win. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get back into this. That's, this is great. I mean, yes, you're down, but this is fantastic compared to where you just were. Yeah, but what, this, yeah, but you got to do a lot still. Yeah, this is so. This is like this is so crucial to get yourself a lead here because you're facing elimination, and Sonic's will absolutely like, disengage. When For pain to the max, try BC Max in great tasting lemonade. Self lead here because honestly, only because they saw the ad, I feel like I just want to say this. I personally feel like VR games are okay. Um, when it comes to VR games, though, just if you saw the price of that $300 just to play VR games, the graphics don't even look that good. I guess it's literally costing that much just for the purpose of VR. But my thing is, is like, unless you're literally, unless your legs are literally like or just your entire body's, like, stuck in a little area, or, like, you can run in place or something to, like, run in the game, stuff like that. I feel like VR does have a huge risk of, like, breaking stuff in the house, which is why I personally would never want to buy VR. But, yeah, I definitely would say no to that. I don't think it's worth it. Un unless you know how to take the proper precautions, do not get it. If... If you're trying to get it for a little kid or something that's not even, like, 10 or something like that, or is just, like, 10, not even teenager age, don't do it. Facing elimination, and Sonic's will absolutely like, disengage when you try to pressure him too much as he gets that lead. I'm, I'm, Yoshi's here, though. You have the ability to get some early KOs off the top. We saw almost early KO with that drop zone there. This is incredibly close, even with that per slight percent deficit here, Logic. Oh, yeah, but... That is such a good bait. Like I've already mentioned throughout this video already, Sonic is a bait character. He looks for baits in order to basically get chunks of damage. And I feel like that's one of the most common baits that actually works so well. So you start doing your little spin dash and you make it look like you're gonna go, but you stop... And you kind of like jump, you go over the platform, and instead of like landing on the platform, you just go straight through it again and then go. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. Help. <laughs> okay, but for real though, that was definitely a very good bait by Sonics, and he's currently got a pretty good lead considering how these two characters play. So. If Tweak is going to come back, it's got to be now. Yeah, starting to widen a little bit. It's not the Grand Canyon quite yet, mm -hmm. but uh, it's still not a path I want to cross. No, absolutely not. Oh, there's your jump, but he tries to be the air dodge down instead, so not going for the jump read that gives Tweak a slight bit of life left. He's now facing a very large deficit here, and he needs to get an opener. That's a huge opener right there. Gets a command grab. What do you do about the ledge step? Puts banana up top, reads the run in, and he's starting to get a lot more air to airs. Looking a little bit better. Tweet waking up, finding an opening against this blue hedgehog. Sonic's just trying to make sure he keeps it safe, but that command grab's going to send him off stage. Now what do you do about the ledge chef? Deciding to leave the banana there alone. That way he doesn't roll on and try and run past him. Now here comes the Z-drop. Tries to catch one back air. He does not confirm on that, and he just gets by that back throw. Might kill. Not enough, though. He's going to keep himself alive just for an extra second. Wow, what an exchange right there. Tweak literally throwing everything at Sonic's. None of it working. Down to the back air. Not going to be enough quite yet. Drop the banana, but Sonic says, you know what? Here's a back air for your trouble. We haven't seen that in a while either. Usually Sonic's do, uh, Sonic players do that quite often where they'll run up and get you with a B reverse up B with the back air that you're not expecting. That command grab is going to set him deep off stage. A lot of percent on him. It's not enough yet. One forward air at the ledge though. Deciding to go off stage. Trying to catch him on the... And then he does it again. Usually they hold on to that for... 
Alright, so... Sonic still has the lead, but Tweak definitely seems to be playing very well right now. He did start coming back very convincingly there. Um, something that I don't understand, like, I even, like, I was playing Smash Bros. on the 3DS today, like, our, like I mentioned somewhere. I don't remember if it was in this video or if it was in my update video, which basically discussed why I haven't been uploading as much, but... How do people, like, touch the stage and, like, jump off the stage like that? Like, I saw Tweak do it twice in just a little span of time. Like, how do you do that? Like, obviously, you can't do that on every stage. Like, a lot of the other stages we've seen already, like, don't have that ability. But, like, on this stage, like, how do you do that? I don't get it, so. If you know how to do that, comment down below, please. Wow, but he's like, you know what? It worked last time. I'm gonna do it again here, Logic. Yeah, I mean, Tweak, what do you do in this position? I think at this point you need to get a throw out the ledge. You need to maybe catch him. Up till is a KO option here too. It is very fresh. That move can kill off the top as well if Tweak can find it. That's if he can find himself onto the ground. Command grab should take it. Yeah, very fresh. Unfortunately, because of the fact that Tweak dropped the stop. But fresh enough to take it. Now what do you do? Oh, he goes, he gives up ledge. That's a free punish. Right now you here. get... What do you do about the landing now? Now he gets back in, he gets access to the ground, he gets access to some more damage, but this is still, this is two minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. This is still very much anybody's game. You have a feeling it's not gonna go to time, but uh, I mean, Tweak needs some massive openings. Oh, that's a big parry. He's starting been getting get caught it. by homing attacks a lot in those spots. Now he reads the roll on the left-hand side. Tweak starting to get some uh, signs of life here. 66% to 77 logic. This is one bad mistake away from either player as we see Sonic gets the first opener. Tries to go over that forge mat, barely mistimes it. Throwing out even more right now. Tweak definitely put on notice. He almost caught him with the air dodge out with the back air too. That would have been the game. But Banana's in hand. Banana's now gone, so it's a little bit easier for Sonics to find an opener. But Diddy Kong coming through Tweak, not trying to give up a mistake. And there's the mistake right there. You see Tweak stopping on the floor, not feeling happy about that one because he is now out of the tournament here. Bro, Sonics did it. He beat Tweak. He upset it, Tweak. Three to one, y'all. That was amazing. Um, I would say that Sonic's honestly just stuck to the bases and played Sonic the way intended there on that final stock. Um, Tweak definitely seemed like he was starting to get on a roll at one point with those combos, but just unfortunately, he wasn't able to get the comeback there in game four. But wow, Sonic's. I definitely... If I saw these two matched up against each other, I would have picked Tweak any day. So to see this is definitely very awesome. Um, here are some ultimate things that I took as a Sonic player that I should work on. I might have already discussed some of these things, but let's get into it. So for starters, I need to start learning how to use Down B because it's basically the regular spin dash, but it's faster and it basically eats through people, and it, like, gets to them quicker, and does more damage. It's easier to combo with, essentially, so I need to learn how to really use it, because I, I would try to use it, and for some reason, it just doesn't work out. I don't know why. Um, I need to start going for baits more, and I kind of have realized this, but I realize it more now than ever. Like, for example, there was this one match between me and my friend Travis, like, I'm not even joking, he was a full stock and almost two stocks ahead of me, and I started taking things slower and started waiting for the baits like Sonics did against Tweak, and I started doing that against his Pyramithra, and I was able to get a comeback because of it, so maybe... If I start incorporating it more into my gameplay, I'll get more complicated to play against. Meaning that I'll just be better than I am now. But those are two things that I really feel like I need to work on. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I know this one's super, super long. But be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And please... Hit that subscribe button, y'all. It would really support me a lot. And with that being said, I never do an outro for this video other than that. I'm talking like an outro where it like shows like 
recommended video to watch, yada yada get this, yada yada that, or just something different than the whole video. So I'm just gonna let this play because we're gonna show some highlights and that's kind of like my outro. So with that being said, I love you guys all so much. I'm out. Peace. Sonics takes it here 3 1 in what was a ridiculously stressful long set. Yeah, and I mean, the nerves, the mental stamina, you. I can't believe Tweak even continued to play after the way that game one went. You know, you had. I mean, he was already making a name for himself, but defeating Tweak? That so is just. That's so phenomenal. Sonics just showed how to, the textbook way on how to deal with Diddy Kong because Diddy Kong is such a good character on when you have to box with him up close. Wall Banana is in hand, especially. So, what do you do? You play around it, you use your armor frames, you use your ability to dodge around him as much as possible and beat him on air to air. And then this Yoshi's pick almost getting Tweak a game. But Sonic's ability to traverse the stage and just kind of hide around a bit and not get pressured nearly as much as you needed to before was able to get the game and get the upset here as we see Tweak fall in the Smash World Tour Championship. Wow, that's...